Say bracket your hour, bracket your shy, bracket your hour, bracket your shy, bracket your hour, bracket your shy. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and glory and honor to your hour, Bashem your shy. Double honor to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Millstone. And a blessed salutation to the Akyam, to the folk and the earth, to pushing the gospel and sincerity and truth shall one. This evening, I come the next lesson to feed the church of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You know, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian. I want to touch on this um, this this precept in um, Ephesians chapter 2. And I want to touch on verse 11 and verse 12. You know, to give the understanding to the church, you know, to feed the church of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You know, with this video, with, with this video of Pestle, right? Um, I'll start off with Ephesians 2 and 11. He said, Where he said, Wherefore remember that he being being in time past gentile in the flesh right being the israelites you know who who stop walking in the ordinance of yahweh bashem yahweh and start walking in the ordinance of the heathen nation they were called gentile because it was in a gentile state of mind you know the brothers who in the truth you know the sincere brothers could testify to this because before yahweh bashem yahweh wake you up to who we was right who we are as israelites as the son of god yasharala right we were walking in the, in the mindset being 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 of this other nation right calling yourself of this other of, of this other nation and walking in the custom of this other nation so we were in a gentle state of mind not knowing who we are right as a as a people right he said wherefore remember that he being in time past gentile in the flesh in the flesh right who are called on circumcision by that which is called on circumcision in the flesh made by hands right so we were called on circumcision by them who were who were who were circumcised right that was happening in jerusalem right when judah benjamin and levi were calling the other the other tribes uncircumcised because it was walking in the ways of the gentiles right it was walking in the ordinance of the gentiles right and we go to the record and prove that a lot of israelites turned away from turning away from the heritage of yahweh bashem yahweh and follow the ways of the heathens right this is romans 2 and 25 for circumcision verily profit if thou keep the law it profit if you keep the law right but if thou be a breaker of the law thy circumcision is made on circumcision so these israelites break the law by reject rejecting yahweh by shem yahweh and follow the ways of the heathen so i will go into the apocrypha in the account where this happened so we're going back to the history why why our people wasn't why our people in this day still in the mindset of, of a gentile mindset of the other nation by walking the other the other nation because this thing happened back when the wicked king Antiochus, which is the so-called white man right um who, who came and sacked jerusalem right so we get this record why and why 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 they was called uncircumcised right this is um first maccabees chapter one and start from verse 11 a matter of fact let me get let me start from verse um seven he says so alexander reigned 12 years and died so alexander was a greek or a so-called white man and his servant be rule everyone in his place and after his death they all put crumbs upon themselves so did their sons after them and many many years and evil were multiplying the earth so you white people everywhere you go use use bring evil use death Right? You use the wicked that the, that the Bible speak of. Right? He said, And there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, son in Epiphanes, son of Antiochus, the king, who had been an hostage in Rome and regained in the hundred and thirty and seven year of the kingdom of the Greeks. Right? Says, so You Edomites. He said, In those days went out of Israel wicked men who persuade many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathens that are wrong about us for since we depart from them we have had much sorrow so wicked israelites leave leave the heritage that yahweh bashem yahweh give them which is the covenant which is the last statutes of commandment they leave that and went to follow the way the heathens right verse 12 so this device pleased them well verse 13 then certain of the people were so forward the um here i'm hearing that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinance of the heathen so they forsook yahweh by hashem yahweh and follow the way the heathens right 
He said, whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the custom of the heathen, because the gymnasium is according to the custom of the heathens. Gymnasium come back to what? Being naked. Right? Place of exercise. Verse 15, and made themselves uncircumcised. These is Israel, and made themselves uncircumcised. So you go back to Ephesians 2 and 11, it says, Wherefore remember that he being in time past Gentiles in the flesh because of forsake the law of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh So Paul was telling them about the history. Remember what you did. See, he was reminding them what you did in time past. You have forsook the law of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and walk in the way of the heathen. So he said, remember, wherefore remember that he being in time past Gentile in the flesh who are called uncircumcised, uncircumcision, by by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made in hand. So Judah Benjamin and Levi, who was back, who was in Jerusalem, was calling the other the other the other army, the other tribes who forsook the law of Yahweh Hashem. He was calling them were uncircumcised, are calling them Gentiles, right? So Paul was reminding them about the history what they did, right? Right. So, um, verse John to verse fifteen. He said, and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant. One of the co covenants were that to circumcise your son at the eighth day, on the eighth day, right? Circumcised the four skinny of Iran, right? He said, and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief, and were sold to do mischief, right? I'm going to jump to verse 40, 41. First Maccabees chapter 1, verse 41. He said, moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom, that all should be one people. And the most high not dealing with that. And this is saved in the cover of this new world order. Everybody should be in one. The most high not dealing with that. The most high destroyed it before with Babel. In the Babylonian kingdom. The most high destroyed that. Right? And he can do it again this time. Right? Verse 42. And everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agree according to the commandment of the king. So the heathen agree. All the heathen they, they, they are, they are, they are heathen. They are beasts. They don't know. They don't know right from wrong. They are beasts, right? Verse forty-three. Yea, he said. Yea, many also of the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians, are doing it today. Today, recently, our celebrator was um, Saturnella, the festival of Christmas. Saturnella, right? Going after worshiping the death of the Messiah. This way, y'all do celebrating the death of the Messiah. That's wickedness. Right, and the Messiah didn't even born on Christmas Day, the twenty fifth December. You can't find it nowhere in the scriptures saying that he said celebrate his birthday on twenty fifth December. That's wickedness. That's the way the heathens, right? He said, "Yea, and many and many also of the Israelites consent unto his religion, and sacrifice unto idols, and profane the Sabbath." And so and so, got Christmas Day gone back then. When was what was more? There was the Sabbath day. They are profane the most high Sabbath day. By celebrating what Christmas, eating all kind of bumble meat, right? So speaking about you, speaking about you, speaking about you, Israel, who forsake the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Speaking, speaking about you, because the same thing you did in your past life, right? And yes, the Bible speaks about reincarnation too, right? Verse forty-four: For the king had sent letter by messenger unto Jerusalem and the city of Judah that they should follow the strange law. The strange laws of the land and as you people find today the strange law of the land christmas is a strange law is a, is a, is a strange law carnival valentine all this is the way the heathens right there's there's not there's not the custom that you so got negroes latins and native american indians supposed to be walking in no you're supposed to walk in the last time to come out to yahweh bashem yahushai which is the sabbath which is the passover the feast of leaven bread the feast of tabernacle the feast the feast of pen um the feast of wheat the feast of dedication, the feast of Purim. This is this this is the custom that you're supposed to walk with. This is holy and righteous mm -hmm. custom unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is what he gave us to do. Right? Um uh, verse verse 45. And forbid born offering and sacrifice and drink offering in the temple, and that they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days. And this will do that don't keep the, the, the holy the holy feast days of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They don't know it. Right? Because they forsook it back, you know, back back then they forsook it, right? So they forget it, 
verse 46 and pollute the sanctuary and the holy people you so-called negro latin and native american indian are a holy people and holy means separate most i separate us from these other heathen nation right verse 47 and set up altar and grove and chapel of idols and sacrifice swine flesh and unclean beasts so swine flesh is an unclean beast and the most i command us not to eat that and you just eating that right Verse 48, that they should also leave their children uncircumcised. Let me read this again. 1 Maccabee, verse 1 and 48. 1 Maccabee, chapter 1, verse 48. That they should also leave their children uncircumcised and made their soul abominable with all manner of unclean and, prof and prof profanation. Prof profanation, right? Verse 49, to the end, to the end they might forget the law and this is what they do they forget the law and change and change all the all the ordinance and this is what they do they change all the ordinance right they change it let me get a quick precept quick right this is jeremiah 17 and 4 right this is jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4 he said and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage that i give thee was the heritage the last statutes and commandment right they keep the most high holy days the most high feast days right and the high holy days y'all forget that but y'all walking away the heathens right he said and i will and i um yeah jeremiah 17 and 4 and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage that i give thee and i will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not for he hath kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever, right? For a long period of time, right? So, there was, there was, let's show that how you so called Negroes, Latin, and Native American Indian, Indians started walking away the heathen. You have forget, right? You have forsook, you have forsook the covenant that the most I give, most I make with us, right? Uh, first Maccabees chapter 1, verse 49, to the end that, 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 that they might forget the law and change and change all the ordinance for us 50 and whoso and whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king he said he should die so they was killing us back then if if we circumcise we children that was killing us if we keep the sabbath that was killing us if we keep the the passover that was killing us the feast of tabernacle the feast of dedication the feast of period that was killing us Right, if we keep if we keep, if we keep those things that was destroying us, right? He said, um, and he said, and whosoever would would not do according to the commandment of the king, he should. He said he should die. In the self same manner, wrote he to his whole kingdom, and appointed overseer over all people, commanding the city of Judah to sacrifice city by city. He said, then many of the people were gathered unto them. To wit, everyone that forsook, forsook the law, and so they commit evil in the land. So a lot of Israelites join onto this man, wicked, wicked religion. Today, you see it: Christianity, Seventh Day Adventist, Roman Catholic. Is they see it today? All the wickedness, Islam. You see the wickedness because what the forsook, the forsook the the the, 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 the holy covenant that Yahweh Bar Shemir should give to them, and they join themselves onto the heathens, right? They make a covenant with death right was for the tree and drove and drove the israelite into secret place this is the one who stands stiffly right they 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 they, they, they join unto them right he said even even whosoever they could flee for secure was for the four now the 15th day of the of the month castle in the 140 and 50 years they set up the abomination of desolation upon the altar so the abomination of desolation is antiochus right and build the idol and build idol altar throughout the city of Judah on every side, and burn incense at the door of their houses and in the streets. He said, and they went they and rent in pieces the book of the law which they found. They burned them with fire so they destroy the Bible. This is what these devil do they burn they destroy the Bible, right? And you cool like to say the so called white man write the Bible. The so called white man destroying the Bible right now here. And today he doing it he doing it to today by printing all these versions and speaking all these blasphemy about the Bible. 
right? And you jigs, you jigs doing the same thing too. And the soca white man was burning up our books, our record back then, right? First Maccabee chapter 56. First Maccabee chapter 1 verse 56. And when they had read in pieces the book of the law which they found, they burned them with fire. And whosoever was found with any, any, with any the book of the testament, or if any consent to the law, the king commandment was that they should should put him to death. So if you, if you find your own with the Bible, reading and keeping the laws of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and keeping the feast days of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh the king command was to put you to death. That's why a lot of Israelites went and joined with the heathens. It was it was it was it was it was, it was, it was strainless unto them. They was they been prosecuted, and the rest. The rest of the rather die and flee, right? It's um verse fifty eight. Thus they day by their authority unto the unto the Israelites every month, to as many as were found in the city. Now the now the five and twenty day of the month they did sacrifice upon the idol, on, on up, upon the idol altar, which was upon the altar of the Mosai. He said, at which time, according to the commandment, they put they put the death certain woman that had caused their children to be circumcised. So they put the death these women who circumcised the children, right? He said, and they hung the infant about their neck and rifled their houses and slew them that had circumcised them and slew them that circumcised. So the men who circumcised the children, they slew them too. And they killed them, they killed the, the mother and they killed the infant. They hang them by the neck. This will this devil do to us. Right? This will this devil do. This is why Apostle Paul said, Yo, wherefore remember. In Ephesians 2 and 11, remember. This is the history Paul is telling you, remember. Right? This is the history. That's why this devil take all these, ap these apocrypha out of the Bible too. Because these books be these 14 books belong to the Bible. Right? Right? It's um was it too? How be it? Many, many in Israel were fully, fully are um, re resolved and conform in themselves not to eat any unclean thing. Wherefore they choose rather to die, that they might not be defiled with meat, and that they might not profane the holy covenant. So, so then they die. He said, and there were very great wrath upon Israel. So a lot of Israel, you know, they die. You know, they get they said that before died and to, to, to join with these heathens right and the time coming again with the microchip the our temptation right they're coming too right so this is what paul was saying here right back in ephesians 2 and 11 he said Rem uh, wherefore remember that he being in time past gentile in the flesh who are called on circumcision by that which is called circumcision in the flesh made by hand so the israelites the, the, the Israelites who was keeping the law were calling the ones who fall off uncircum, uncircumcision, uncircumcised because it was walking the way the heathens, right? Um, verse, verse 12, Ephesians 2 and 12, that at that time he he were without a Mashiach, without the word. A Mashiach is the word. Yahweh is the word of Yahweh, right? Being alien from the commonwealth of Israel, being alien from the commonwealth of Israel, so we check out this word commonwealth, right? So we're speaking to the Israelite being alien from the commonwealth, right? So we check out this word commonwealth, Ephesians 2 and 12, right? Ephesians 2, right? Ephesians 2 and 12. Right. Strong's G forty one seventy four. Politia. Politia. The Greek word is politia, right? Politia it means the administration of civil affairs, a state or commonwealth, citizenship, the right of a citizen. So speaking about the Israelite, right? So he said at that time he were without a Mashiach, which is the word, being alien from from them. so there was so there was there was they there was there was the originally from that that commonwealth 
whether it was being alien, stranger from it. Why? Whether it was being alien means stranger, we got to forsook it. The forsook it and fall away the heathen. So he said that at that time, he were without a Mashiach, being alien from the commonwealth of Israel and stranger from the covenants of the promise. So who the covenant was given to? Let me see who the covenants was given to, right? This is Ezekiel, uh, Exodus, right? Exodus 34, 27. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write thou these words, for after, after the tenor of these words, I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. This is plain. This is plain, right? This is um, Hebrews... So he said, he said, he said, he said covenants, right? It's more than one, right? He said covenants with the S. This is Hebrews chapter 8, verse 7. He said, for if that first covenant had been flawless, then should no place have been sought for a second, right? We kind of forsook, we forsook each and every one, we break the covenant, right? We promised that we could keep, we could keep the laws, statutes and commandments that Yahweh Hashem and give to us. So we break that covenant, so yet he make a new covenant with us, right? A new covenant, not now with the now with the heathens, right? Anyway, in the scripture you see salvation for the Gentile is speaking to the Israelite who are, who are in a Gentile state of mind who who wake up knowing that there's Israelite and repent and turn back. This is why Yahweh came and gave us grace. Grace is a period of time to turn back to what your heritage, turn back to your custom, turn back to keeping the laws of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh right? It's a um, Verse 8, Hebrews 8 and 8, for finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the day the days come, said the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Israel and Judah, the Israelites, the native and the Latinos and the Negroes, which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Verse 9, not according to the covenant that I made with their father in the day that I took them by their hands to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Because they continue not in my covenant, and I regard them not, said the Lord. For this is a covenant that I will make with, make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts, salakia in their mind, and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. Speaking about the Israelites. The Israelites. Right? You can't get wrong that. That is plain. This is um, Romans, Romans 9, right? This is Romans, this is Romans 9, right? This is Romans, um, Romans 9, and um, get straight to the point. This is Romans 9 and 3. He said, for I could wish myself for a course for a Mashiach for my brethren, my brethren, right? He said, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, right? So we check up the word kingsman, right? This is Apostle Paul, right? So we check up this word kingsman, right? Right, we check up this word kingsman, right? Um, go to, go to Romans, Romans 9. Um, Romans 9 and uh, 3 and check out this word Kingsman right um, uh, Romans 9 and 3 so this word Kingsman right we go to this word right this um, Romans G 4773 Sungenes Sungenes in the Greek word says it's a kingsman, right? It's uh, of the same kind. It's a akim to relate by blood in the wider sense of the same nation or fellow countrymen. Right? So Paul was speaking to the Israelites. And who was Paul? Who was Apostle Paul? This is um Romans eleven and one. He said, I say then are the are the most I cast away his people, the most I forbid, for I am I for I also am an Israelite. <laughs> of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin so Apostle Paul the Israelites so he was speaking to the Israelites right he said 
uh, Romans 9 and 3, For I could wish that myself were a cause for a Mashiach, my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom, to whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Mosai, the service about to the prophets, and the promise, so he said, the adoption. So we check out this word adoption. Right? Check out this word adoption. Right? So this is uh, Romans Romans 9 and uh, 4. Right? We go into this word adoption. Right? You know, you, 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 you hypocrites can get around this. This is uh, for the Israelites. We are to see her is the Hebrew is the Greek word and we we are to see her is the Greek word for adoption. It's the adoption, adoption as adoption as son, that relationship which the Mosai was pleased to establish between himself and the Israelite in reference to all other nations. So the Mosai chose the Israelite above all nations and over all nations. This is the relationship between the Mosai and the Israelites. That's the adoption between the Mosai and the Israelites. Right? He said Romans 9 and 4, he said, Who are Israelites to who pertain, pertain at the adoption and the glory and the covenants? Right? We read in, Ex, in uh, Exodus 34 and 27 and Hebrews 8, 8 to 10. Right? And the giving of the laws. Right? And the service of the Mosai and the promise. So who was giving the laws? Let me get it quick. Who was giving the laws? This is um, Psalms. Right? Psalms 1 9. Psalms 1. Um, Psalms 1 47 verse 19 he said he showed his words his word unto Jacob his statue and his judgment unto Israel <laughs> he had not dwelt so with any nation and as for his judgment they have not known them praise he Yahweh right so it was shown unto the to the to the Israelites so back in Ephesians 2 and 12 he said that at that time he were without a Mashiach being alien from the commonwealth of Israel and stranger from the covenant of promise, having no hope, and without the Mosai in the world. So he was speaking to the Israelites, right? This was speaking to the Israelite foreigners who scattered in Africa and the arts, right? We, we were scattered because we, were, we, we break the covenant that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, so he scatter us, right? So this was speaking to the Israelites who are, who are in a gentle state of mind, who don't know who they is, right? So what Paul was reminding them what happened in the history what happened with the dead? So he was reminding them. He said, "Wherefore remember, in he was he was gentle in the flesh, walking in walking in the mindset that he's heathen, right?" And with that, with let's not defiant. We want to give our praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule with a great millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Afyams and the folk and the earth to push in the grass when it's in the sacred truth. Shalom.